I really want to talk about trios, and I think we're going to do it now. Okay. The trios title was going to be special. Yes, it was. The Young Bucks and Kenny Omega were the world champions. They were going to be world champions for, I think, a pretty good, pretty long period of time. And there's no better way to say this title is meaningful. This title is meaningful. Like these are three the three of the top wrestlers in this company, and they have it. And they beat a former world champion to get it. And now it's on Penta, Pac, it's on Death Triangle, Ray Phoenix, which would seem to be semi meaningful. They're former yeah. world tag team champions. Yeah. The on All its Atlantic face, champion. it's a great choice. On its face, it's a great choice. And then, then week two, they get trotted out to lose to the World Tag Team Champions. Right. And the other one get punked out by Orange Cassidy backstage. Yeah, knocked out in one punch. And not even the orange punch. Right. Not a Superman punch. Just a random punch. Yep. From the slowest man in professional wrestling. Right. <laughs> this, lo- this immediately feels like a garbage title. Yeah. Like an ab- Instantly. Like it f- it they should have just stripped like- him and held it up. Yeah, it feels like Dave and Buster's is going to be the next champion. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Yeah. Um, with, I mean, come on. And I can't even remember the name of any of those people other than Chet Hanks. That's the only one I remember right now. And I only remember Miss Chet Hanks. Yeah. And I, oh, Parker Boudreaux. Parker Boudreaux. Okay, Parker yeah. Boudreaux. And uh, if we sat here for long enough, I could come up with. The other guy with the rhyming name, the Slim head of the Jay faction. and Ari Davari. Ari Davari. Yeah. My God. Come, come on, man. How quickly the name we forget. Rhymes. How quickly we forget. I would like to bring back Paul Fontaine. I told you, you're not going to see them again for six months. Yeah. And you're not. And we haven't. And we have not. And we they are got not a butler and then they disappeared. <laughs> oh, man. If only. Oh, my God. If only it's a real I'm just going to say as an elderly gentleman in his 40s, it's a real shame that we couldn't have gotten kayfabe, the dark order in the backstage brawl. And then a judge comes in, maybe a pro wrestling judge Mm -hmm. and declares that that John Silver has to work as the trust busters butler to pay off his debt to society. Yes. That'd be fantastic. It's a, it's a real shame, but, uh, but yeah, I'm really upset over what this title was going to be mm-hmm. and where it is mm-hmm. based on it. What I think is incompetent booking. And the thing is, is we all think, we all think that the tag champions are going to lose the belt this week. So there was no reason if that's true to put them over last week, other than it's, Oh, it's just a swerve. It's to show how good they are right right before they lose. Right. We don't need to weaken the trios title. Right. For a swerve. Right. Literally involving a man Man named swerve. Swerve. (laughs) There's no reason for this. It's garbage. And it's, it's a, it's really depressing because I was so looking forward to this title. Yeah. It started out in it for one hour. For exactly one hour, 60 minutes. Yeah. It was, it was very exciting. One of the title. Hot, it was yeah. the most exciting title in pro wrestling. Yeah. And, and, now and, it no and something that could be a calling card for that company that yeah. that really is not a big deal in other shows or, you know, like some, the six man matches. No, no one's ever no major federation in America has ever truly gotten behind yeah. a six man title. And they like totally. Back in the day, yeah. WCW had one. Mm-hmm. And it was the free birds because there were three of them. Right. And there were not any real competitors. But this is the first company that has so yeah. many trios ready to roll. Right. It could, they could be stand out. Instead, it's nothing. They could be they could make that a centerpiece on Rampage on Friday night and start promoting it as like the fastest hour in television, you know, because yeah. the, because of the way that when you have trios, you can go 100 miles an hour. And when ROH makes its debut on reels leading into On Patrol Live every Friday and Saturday night. Yep. Then they've got plenty of room. Dalton for, Castle uh, and the boy is going to revitalize that's, the trio. That's right. Division. That's exactly right. But then it opens up all this space for the trio's division on Rampage. Yeah. Uh, very frustrating. Yeah. Very frustrating, Kevin. 